welcome to real talks with pink thank you so much for the love we've been receiving on the channel please keep liking commenting and sharing our videos don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell i'm so excited today i have a very young person on the show i'll ask Kessa to introduce herself <laughs> um my name is Dissimila amati king i Yes, quite young. <laughs> I am an acting executive in the telecommunication space. Okay. Yes. Okay. So today we are going to talk about leaning into our careers or being very intentional as young people in our careers. Uh, so, Dissimelo, can you tell us more about yourself? Where did you start off before you even uh, had this position that you speak of? Where did you study? What did you study? All those stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I started first at the National University. I'll just talk about higher learning. Okay. okay. Yes. I studied economics, minor in business administration at the National University of Lesotho. Mm -hmm. Then from there, you know, when you're done with school and it was when open spaces started you know and you know I, I wasn't very comfortable with the open space and I'm like you know what I need to go back to school mm. at least when I'm done maybe I'll be mature enough to be in an open space setting you know then I went to UCT I studied a postgraduate diploma in marketing mm -hmm. then I always had a passion for accounting mm -hmm. so from high school, I wanted to be an accountant, but my dad felt that accounting is not for me. Everybody nowadays is an accountant. <laughs> so that's why I had to do economics. Okay. So then I did um, a conversion course at UCT, uh -huh. um, accounting conversion course, where I wanted to become a chartered accountant. Uh -huh. But when I was home for the December holidays in 2014, uh -huh. I got a message from my then boss on LinkedIn asking me to send a CV. They were looking for an intern. In Lesotho, uh, on yes, LinkedIn. Yes. Okay, I wanted to make sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So I sent my CV and I went for an interview and I got the draw. Mm -hmm. So come January, when we have to go back to school, I tell my parents, I, I still want to, because I had to do a second year of the PGDA. Mm -hmm. um, then I tell my parents that now it's time for me to go back to school. And they're like, no, it's very hard to get a job in Lesotho. Now that you got this job, you should stick mm. to it. Stay. And, and yes. So I did. And for me, it wasn't a hard decision because, you know, you come into an organization, you're new, but you've already been given opportunities to mm. shine, you know. Mm. So it was... For me, it was not that much of a hard decision, and I felt I was still study online, so mm -hmm. it was okay. So I become an intern, and then a year later, I got a permanent position as um, a relationship manager. Mm -hmm. Then two, fast forward two years later, my then boss left the company, and mm -hmm. you know, like my immediate boss left, my boss's boss left, and the department was just in limbo. Mm -hmm. so I don't like being in limbo. You know, we have to. Report to group we have to report to mm, who but mm. nobody's going to do it mm. so I stepped forward and did it mm. it wasn't even that I'm raising my hand to say can I be recognized for this it's just that not liking to be nimble mm. um, I'm a bit of a perfectionist mm -hmm. so I want things to be in a certain of order course. Yes. Mm. so I went ahead and started reporting and then um, we got a new boss and a, another new boss over the, the new boss, you mm -hmm. know, so two new people and the new MD. So I had to hand over to this three, this people, three people because there was nobody else to do it, you know, because my bosses had left. So my boss then realized, you know what, um, Dissimula raised her hand, so mm. she'll be acting as a manager. Mm -hmm. Then I acted as a manager for, I think, a year and three months, something like that. Mm hmm then, um, in fact, while acting, then it, it became evident that maybe we should start being groomed to become into taking the, the role substantially, mm. right? Yes, yeah, so I had a lot of support. <laughs> I remember when I first started as a manager, <laughs> my spiritual mentor likes to say to me, this morning, you're so explosive. You, you literally are like soda water. I will shake and you'll explode. 
you need to be like mineral water. Mm. And it was a huge journey for me. But mm. yeah, then I became active manager. I became a manager. Mm. And now here I am as an acting executive. I feel like you were at the at the right place at, at the, the right, right time. time. I yeah. always say that. I, I, I always, always hear that. people say, just get ready for opportunities when they do come. Keep learning, keep learning until something comes up. That's you true. were just at the right place at the right time. And then an opportunity was presented to you yes. and you took it. Yes. I think that's what yes. happened. I, I think also for me, it was at first I started to, I wanted to fight the whole thing of being a relationship manager because I thought this is not me. I'm mm. an accountant mm. and I want accounting. Mm. And you know, I went out to apply so many jobs in accounting, but I never got them. So I'm like, you know what? God it's is speaking sign. to me. I will sit here. And immediately when I came to terms with the fact, you know, I started flourishing where I was mm. because before the end, while I was still fighting where I was, it was a struggle. I was mm. depressed and everything. But the minute I said, you know what, I am here now, make the best of it. Mm. I started flourishing. Okay, that's good. So I'm going to ask you, what, what inspires you or what drives you? I think it's excellence, Pinks. Mm. <laughs> I only say to the team, when I walk out... I don't want people talking about me and saying she disappointed us so much. Mm, mm. But she couldn't deliver. Mm, so mm. excellence for me to be associated with things that are good. Mm. That what's pushing drives me. Mm, so. That's amazing. People who are excellent get to these positions <laughs> like you. <laughs> so tell me, you you are young. You don't just look young. You are young. I know you are young. You don't have to tell us your age, <laughs> but you are very undisimilar. <laughs> How do you manage to lead such a big team in a telecommunications company? You know what? It's not a walk in the park. It is not <laughs> at all. I can imagine. Yeah, it has its many challenges, but I think what has helped me is the willingness to learn. Mm, mm. I appreciate that. Um, I think the first thing that I did was to appreciate that people are individuals. Mm -hmm. Each and every person, you treat them by who they define themse themselves as towards you. Mm -hmm. So I always tell the team that you determine how I treat you. Mm -hmm. If you push and you are available to do your work in a certain manner, then you are also teaching me how I should treat you. Mm -hmm. But also, if you need a nudge, I will nudge you. Mm -hmm. But now let's talk about it. How should I nudge you mm -hmm. in such a way that you feel you'll thrive? You know, mm -hmm. because I, I don't like hostile environments i don't and as a person who is rather controlling <laughs> you <laughs> yes, I am. That's me, I am. there's a self-awareness <laughs> no i'm actually on a whole spiritual journey about this oh okay so i have i have evolved a lot from when i started the journey to where i am now and it, it's about that so mm -hmm. it, it was when i first started i had to look in and say um in the previous leaderships that I had, which things didn't I like and mm. why didn't I like them? Mm -hmm. And what am I going to do not to go there? You know? Mm -hmm. Because when mm -hmm. when when you can when when you reflect and realize that you're also flawed as a human being. Yes. And yes. this is a new role that you have never been in. Mm. You, you need to be willing to learn. Yes. So definitely. I am very ready to learn. I know I have I have a support system that is very strong. Mm. So I used to always go to their, um, my best friend actually, I used to always go to her and say, this is a situation, this is how it happened, and this is how I responded. How, what do you think? Mm. Then she was like, no, you're a bit harsh, maybe tone it down a bit. Then next time, I know. So it, it's a learning curve mm. every single day. Mm. On that note, you speak about your spiritual mentors. Uh, I don't know if you have mentors in your career or uh, other spaces. Uh, tell me, are there people People you look up to or people that are guiding you in this journey i think for me that is what has helped me this far mm. um it's the i've had challenges and i've had opportunities mm -hmm. but now um taking up the opportunities and riding through the waves of the challenges mm. It's been through my support structure. I have quite a strong support structure and I'm so grateful to mm, them every That's time. amazing. I have a 
career mentor. Mm-hmm. Like every time I have an issue, they know I will go to them. So this isn't this happened. I have to make this decision. What do I do? Then they'll guide me. You know, um, they've been my my mentor since I started. You mm-hmm. know? Um, I remember this other time when I was still an intern, and then a client called and they said something that I didn't like. Now I wanted to best to the client. <laughs> <laughs> They came up to me. Now, next thing I feel that there's somebody who's putting their hand on my shoulder, patting me down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. And that's where it started, actually. Then I felt, okay, this is an opening for me. Mm. Everything that happens in my career, I, I go via them. Mm-hmm. This is happening. Mm-hmm. And now, with the challenges, my spiritual mentor has been amazing. Mm. You see, my spiritual mentor and, and my support system. Mm. Because... I always go to them. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I will vent. Mm-hmm. I will what? That's where she will tell me. Yes, so yes. Explosive. You need to calm down. Yes, you yes. Know? Tell me about um, any particular learning or challenge that you feel prepared you for this role that you are currently holding. Any learnings or challenges along the way that you'd like to share? Firstly, it's that always be willing to learn. It's, we're not perfect as human beings. Mm. We go where we are needed, but you always need to be ready to learn. Be ready and to be learn. open to it. You know, I get into a meeting and people are talking. I remember um, one of our MDs, he was very bright. <laughs> and I was still an intern and I'm <laughs> in a meeting and we're talking about a different department from where he came from. Mm-hmm. And he just knows the numbers. Everything for him is coming so easily. And I'm like, How, what do I have to do to get to where he is? Because mm-hmm. I was so impressed. Fix, I was so impressed. I can't imagine. Mm-hmm. Yes. And for me, it was, I need to get to this point mm-hmm. at some point. And right now, looking at myself in some of the forums that I sit in mm-hmm. and how I contribute in those forums... I get where he came from. Mm-hmm. Like he was always willing to learn mm-hmm. at every stage. Mm-hmm. Um, with the challenges, my support system thinks. I remember when I started to be a manager, um, mm-hmm. one of them even bought me a book because they were worried about my explosive nature. <laughs> <laughs> I need to calm down. I feel like this book. And from then, that's when I started reading books that mm-hmm. equip me. You know? mm-hmm. So I was like... I feel like you're going to explode sometimes. Like one day you're just going to fall, you know, and it will be done for you. So you need to calm down. So my support system, for me, the challenges that have, and there have been many, trust Mm. me, there have been many. Mm. And even when I want to give up, I know my spiritual mentor never allowed me to give up. Mm. That's where our relationship started. There was a challenge in my career and I just wanted to give up. Mm. But for some reason, um, God put her in my place. Mm -hmm. And I told her what I was going through. She was like, no, you're not going to give up on this. Mm. Then that's where our relationship started. And even now, anything I come across, it's either I talk to her, my sister, I was on end. Mm. And I have a group of my colleagues that we share a lot with, you know, Mm. when you're in the same space, then it's, it's easier to say, guys, I I came across this huddle. How do I get past it? Yes, you have yes. been here before. How did you get past? You know. Mm. So I have a very strong support structure. And I'm yeah, that. you do sound like you have a, a, a strong support system surrounding you, which is quite good. And lastly, this Melo, I want you to speak to young people because we are currently running a career series uh, on Road Talks. So there are people. They may be entrepreneurs. They may be starting off as intense, and they are young and they feel like. I can't lean in into that space. I'm a bit mm-hmm. shy. Mm-hmm. Uh, what do you say as a last uh, word of advice? I think for me, the greatest learning has been I've not tried to stand out. Mm. I have been about excellence and doing the best that I can. Mm. And that made me to stand out. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I don't pretend to be something that I'm not. Because when, when you're pretending, you're expecting results immediately, right? But now when you're setting out to say, I want to be the best in what I do, mm-hmm. you know, people will recognize your efforts. True. And you're not in a hurry. True. You're not in a hurry to shine, you know. Mm-hmm. But you find that instantly you are shining. Yes. Yes, you get to enjoy what you're doing because now you want to do it the best way you can. Mm-hmm. And instantly that makes to stand out you'll mm. stand out by that so there are a lot of, of opportunities guys and 
just strive for excellence mm. that for me is strive for excellence find people that will mentor you around along the way mm. because they've been there and mm-hmm. they know how to seize the opportunities as and when they come mm-hmm. so excellence yes thank you so much <laughs> you must be a prophet because our 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 next uh, interview is someone who's going to speak about the power of mentorship oh. so you stress yeah, about it yes, and i hope it ties well with it thank you so much for coming to the thank show this was so much me. fun thank you. <laughs> real talk viewers thank you so much for joining us uh, please keep liking and sharing our videos do comment below who do you want to see on the channel next thank you so much see you in the next episode bye for now okay bye <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.